We're going to solve the equation and then I will have an important question. Make sure that you see the question. Okay, now let's begin. Uh, the left hand side, we're going to call it A. Okay. And uh, one plus one third is four over three, obviously. Okay. This is an important step. We're going to flip three by four and we're going to give a negative value to the exponent. Okay, so we're going to have 3 over 4 to power of negative 3. Okay, and now you see we want this to be the same as this as much as possible. There is a plus 1, so negative 3, we're going to write it as negative 4 plus 1. Okay, so we're gonna do the same thing. So this three over four should be the same as this. To do that, we're going to add and minus one. So minus one plus three over four is negative one over four, okay? And we're going to replace that. Once we do this, then we're going to compare the both sides. Okay. Now you see there is only one difference. Here we have a plus, but here we had a minus. Okay. So this plus and this minus. Uh, to be the same, we're going to multiply them by negative 1. Negative 1 here and negative one multiplied by positive four. So it's gonna look like this. And now by comparison, you see that the value of x is negative four. Now it's time for the promised question. For uh, my question, we just need to see how many solutions there are to this equation. To do that, we're going to draw it, okay? So I'm in the way, I'm afraid. I have to go here. So this is an important step, okay? Now we're going to draw this graph y, and if x is going to be uh, approaching zero from right, the value of y will be one plus one over, one over zero from right is going to be infinity. So, the beginning of the graph would look like this, okay? And x is one, y is two, so we'll continue the graph, okay? So you see that the, the graph will increase again, so there has to be a minimum around here, okay? We're gonna go up a little, okay? So, and then, the graph, the, the rest of the graph would look like this. It approaches a certain number, right? The values, okay? And now we're going to focus on the left side, okay? So when we, x approaches zero from left, okay? One over x would be negative infinity. So the whole thing will be looking like this. So we need just some additional points. Okay, we know that the value of zero to power of zero is one, okay? So we'll see that it's increasing and then it's going to approach a certain number. To find that certain number, I just came up with x negative 100. So that's what the graph looks like, okay? And now we want to draw a line. To do that, we need to simplify this to see the value of one plus one over three to the third power. Okay. So as you see, the, this line, 2.3, well, this is approximate, by the way, will actually have three intersection, indicating that there will be three solutions. But in the video, we just found negative four, so there are two positive solutions, 
And that's my question to you. I know a lot of people watching this, the audience are pretty smart. So uh, if you have any opinion on how we could solve this uh, equation for these two positive uh, solutions, uh, make sure that you help everyone in the comment section. Okay, I hope you found the video useful. If you did, uh, make sure that you don't go with a, without a like.